Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Wonderful Kingdom 3, and we're going to continue tracking along. Now, I want to see what I can do here. We just need to keep pushing the housing industry, I think. Let's start from the road, though, to make sure that we're, we're not leaving anything out. Yeah, so there's a two-tile gap right there. So I was looking at this design, and I was thinking to myself, I don't think we're really going to be able to fit anything else over here. So we can use this corner for anything we want. It's a party's... Um, Chuck E. Cheese, whatever you want. But uh, we'll figure something else out for that area in a bit. It's always always a fun thing to do. Most likely we can put some kind of deck. I mean, it's actually kind of nice to have these dead areas where you can just do whatever you want because you never know what they're going to add to the game. Stable might fit here. Chicken coops might fit here in 9.2. We don't even know what that stuff's going to look like. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll leave these areas as ambiguous zones because we could put chicken coops over here. And that'd be actually really good use of that space. So yeah, I meant to do that. It looks like, um, it's, yeah, it's actually interesting. It's a destiny. Uh, let's get a couple more door houses. Let's also get a uh, tower right here in the corner. We're starting to get the outer perimeters all kind of situated. Make sure that there's two people in this tower. We do get raided. And we need an additional storage of wood. Get some wood over there. I think we're in good shape. Uh, other than that, we're just going to keep pushing it out. And I'm trying to think what this is going to look like in the end. It's going to look like whatever it's going to look like, but uh, I, do, I do enjoy my consistency. So this one is going to be one tile over, and this one's going to be one tile short. Which leads me to believe that the best route would be to get the road correct. By getting the road correct, I mean moving it one over. Now, I know that seems like a lot of work, but it's not. It's actually really easy to move one tile when you don't have too much built. With that said, um, I want to keep this the way the way it is, so I can use this as a frame of reference. We want the roads to come through here. And that way, everything will be lined up really nice. It doesn't make any sense to have it all crooked. Stupid. Uh, we can make it perfect. Perfection. Everything. Alright. So we're gonna need to terraform a slope down, and we're gonna need to terraform this up. And we'll be golden once more. We just need to fix the, the wall there. This is not an issue. Okay, so the road's gonna come like this. Perfection. You can see this. There we go. Now we're talking. And now I'm gonna need to move them all over one. That's why I do this stuff. Um, it's just really good to know what you can do and how you can do it. Sometimes you, on paper, things are a lot easier to see, but a lot of things are lost, also on paper. Sometimes it's easier to visualize this stuff. Alright, cool. Yep, he, now this can be moved to the corner. Be cancelled. And now we have perfect cornering. All our corners are perfect. Oh, I can sleep tonight. That won't... That would have bugged, that would have bugged the hell out of me. Right. And I'm just gonna start slapping houses over when I can. What's this guy got? 22 a shirt. Oof, we're rich. Eight a stone. Cows would be nice. We might start gravitating that direction here momentarily. Nothing really else. I guess we'll sell some more shirts. Perfection. I'll move these last two houses, and then I'll have another house in the middle. What's cool about having that blank space that I told you about is I can just follow this until I can place another well down. When it's green, if it's blue, it means the well's in... Oop, we're getting attacked. Yeah, where are they coming from? 30 raiders, holy crap, they're coming from the west. Going right by the houses, so that's fantastic. Ah, oh, but the barracks is on the other side. All right, uh, we got two there. We need to get two in there. Yeah, I love having that extra damage modifier from that terrain height. Works out real well. We're screwing them up, man. 
All right, they're going Looney Tunes down there. They'll slow this down a bit times two. Ooh, we're going to attack from all sides, so. So far, so good, man. I mean, the design is, is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. But the bear came in to help. Ah, well, and he gave us food. He, uh, he's a real, he's a real friend. Boom. Heck yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, so far the design is definitely showing promise. Let's keep it going, my friends. All right. Well, that's cool. It's exciting. All right. Yeah, we got our food in check. We're well on our way to having everything we need for massive, massive production. Got lots of willow stills. We're making baskets. I think the main issue we're having is the lack of multiple food sources. Killed one person. We killed 22 out of 30. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, a good way to get a secondary food source is through berries. And we could do a gathering hut, yada yada. I think what we should probably do. An arborist. An arborist would actually fit in these corner slots right here really well. I can put it right here and then have a small little little area in the, in the fencing. But yeah, we're going to have industry and stuff over here, so... I think I should uh, do it more over here. Ooh, a barn would be perfect in this area. I might have to change some designing. So, I definitely need to work on getting secondary food source. Do that through the arborist. Can't go. We can't go f too far down here right now. Yeah, let's do a gatherer for now. We'll do a forager and we'll just have him get these berries. These berries will help everybody grow. There's quite a bit over there. Um, yeah, we can't go to these areas because they're full of baddies, but uh, this area over here we can do and it will be fine. We're just not getting enough meat. Let's see if it's spoiling. No, we have no meat spoiling. We do have protein and vegetables and some fruit coming in from the first gatherer, but uh, this gatherer will be a little bit more on top of things. That's good enough for me. Our healers, our healers should do a good job. Let's put two people in there, though. Make sure that this guy is not hoarding raw meat. Yeah, we definitely need to... Hopefully this, this gatherer helps us out here. Arborist will definitely help bring in enough fruit for everybody. Let's put it right here. I hate how loud it is when you do this, but uh, I really don't like clicking for, through each one. I just kind of shove it in there and make it fit. Got a dirty some. <laughs> oh man. Good thing I don't scream. When I do my let's plays. Shove it in! Yeah. <laughs> Market <it> fit! <laughs> People think, uh, think very. Oh my god, another one? Got one there, we got one there. Okay, fuck. This ends here. This tomfoolery must end. We're going to cut these trees down and we're going to move the barracks over here. I'm going to recruit 12 dudes and we're going to burn this stuff to the ground. We're going to get it done. People are going to die, but tired of it. This is a strategy I've been using uh, for the raider camps is to bring the barracks to right outside. Have uh, one or two peasants walk out and toggle all their men. And then they run into my barracks and get shot up. And then once I've killed all the units in the camp, then I send in the barracks to finish off the, the towers. 
Hopefully there's only one or two towers there. One barracks... Oh, two barracks... Basically you need about a barracks per tower if you want to have no casualties. But on the three tower ones, even three... I had to have four towers once. Or four barracks, and it was still a couple people died. Not many, though. It's amazing that the one co like the one compost dude can take care of all these houses. We're not really having too big of a accumulation here. And I think we're doing all right with the one, the couple root cellars. But this is how it's going to be all the way around. What's kind of crazy is this is really not that big of a base, but it is a massive base because it's going to have six or seven hundred people. The different, it's a different concept for sure. It's a lot more uh, medieval, for sure. Right. Once we get the barracks over here, they gotta cut some trees down, get that to work. I'm worried though, I'm gonna lose some people trying to plant these dang apple trees. Um, yeah, we don't need the ones on the the outer edge, but that's okay, we'll just leave them anyway. That's gonna be a, a nice spot. It's gonna be a lot of apples that we get. I'm at peace, I'm at peace with the their deaths though. For my glory. So it's for it's for a noble cause. Fifteen gold is the monthly cost on this, huh? Yeah, we should get the temple up. Ah, oh, the temple doesn't hit those in the corners. That's what I thought. Oh so, yeah, we'll need that the dude down there. Man, I wonder if that means that the theater won't hit either. I think I should probably put the theater here. Part of me feels that way. I guess it doesn't matter. We can always move this stuff around, but uh, spirituality, yeah, everyone will get hit, so we'll get them all that way. Cool, yeah, so he gets to stay. And we're getting that tag, that's unfortunate. Do this times three. Oh, they burned him down. Those jerks. One thing I hate about fencing is they always destroy fencing. It's one of the reasons I hate building it. And then the deer and the bears get in. Fencing's a pain in the ass to, to repair. You know, eventually I'll probably replace all that fencing with actual walls. So it's a lot easier to see when a wall's down than when a fence is down. Although I know you can just, you know, highlight the whole thing, but it gets really annoying having to go around your whole base highlighting. Oh, and it takes fucking forever. You need to do it every... On Vanquisher, you have to do it all the time. Alright, I definitely have the workforce for this, so people just need to get off their rears. Thousand gold. Nice! Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna... Throw that in. Do we need anything from this dude? He has nothing. He has absolutely nothing. That's such a shame. Oh, another trader. Perfect. Alright, yeah, I think we're good here. The wood is going to be pretty crazy. We're at 329. Perfect. I'm going to get that up to closer to 400 for it to be at optimal. Oh, why have... Did a little too much there. Gotta have some herbs in my in my society so they don't get sick, and also so house is gonna upgrade. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna keep. I think it might be this. Okay, we'll get it eventually. All right, he's buying boards. Four boards at four are actually not too bad. Uh, baskets at 11 is pretty good. I'm going to buy some of these baskets at 11. Make sure that we're still making baskets. I don't know how much willow I have left. Alright, we're getting close. The slow process. We don't want to get too close. We don't want to be too far. 
I have to find that middle ground. I'm just gonna remove the building of these trees because they keep triggering the thing thing. Oh yeah, I'll take 12 people. Cool. Now we just need to upgrade. Oof. Seven more houses. And a bit of gold. Uh, upgrading is the hard part though because most of these people are just missing out on the extra food supply. So we got the new forger up here. They're only bringing in greens last year. Hopefully they start bringing in the berries. Greens aren't going to do it. Um, all of the, the greens, all of that stuff is just one food type. So, you don't know what food types are? Protein, grain, vegetables, fruit, and dairy. So all of them. The, the root vegetables, the beans, all that is the same food type. So you got to either do wheat and grain. You got to do protein. You can see that eggs are under protein, so for 9.2 when we get chickens, chickens food group will still count protein. The dairy is separate, and milk is milk is very good. But the fruit, you can see the nuts count as fruit, and the fruit counts as fruit, of course. Now what I can do is just have them hand, um, hand harvest berries by highlighting them, the harvest tool. Not a bad idea, just to get the, grease the wheels. But then, all oh, my laborers will have another task to do, and that can be kind of annoying. Alright, <laughs> someone, two people paid the price for my, uh, villains. There we go. Alright, well, we'll get this barracks up in a second. That person's not gonna live, so that was very silly of me. Oh, they made it. Yeah, they're trying to cut these trees down. All right. I just got to keep I just got to keep removing these sites. Kind of a uh, impressive how far these towers can shoot. I guess it's not too impressive, but uh I guess I should say it's kind of under under uh, sometimes I underestimate how much space I need. Right, cool. That person might make it if they get to the healers up, but they're bleeding out so fast. Those 12 new people that came, I just... Just kill three of them. Like, sure, come on in. Just go, you know, well, well, what can I do to help out? It's like, oh, you like, you like apples? You're like, go plant an apple tree. Murdered. Alright, we'll get this barracks up. And we'll have a good old time. What the heck are those people doing? Why do they do that? Why do they wander, like, straight into the enemy? There's literally no reason for him to do that. Should probably do is put a tower down here. The tower down back here. And get the cut, catch the raiders off guard. I don't... Did I tell them to cut these trees down at some point? That's what's going on. I kept them highlighted from when the tree... When uh, everything was put up, so I had to unhighlight them. The problem. Fence works. Fence is still working. That's pretty funny. Alright. This is where money becomes a thing. Uh, we're going... We're going all the way. We're going to gear up and arm up, and we're going to hit him with everything. There's only two towers. Wow, look at the field of view on that barracks, man. It just lit the area up, and the tower out, too. Okay, cool. All right, once we get enough people in here, we will send out a lemming to do the dirty work. And the best way to send out a lemming is to just actually just plant stuff. Alright, it's not going fast enough for me. So we'll run them back. They will come out thinking they have an easy kill. And then they will screw up. Boom. Alright, beautiful. Got a few, 
few units there. All right, now I'm gonna move the tower. I think. Oh yeah, I think they have the same radius. So if I move it right outside the radius of that tower, it shouldn't be able to hit me. Hmm. Two towers. I don't know. I don't think that this this is gonna do it. But we gotta we gotta fight soon. People keep getting hurt. <laughs> Um, how many do I got? Oh man, this is, this makes, makes me hurt. Because they're not all going to live. Cool. Whoa, what? I, I thought I had them all highlighted. Alright, well one of them is going to die. Okay, this is not going to plan. Yeah, we're gonna need two barracks full for these guys. People are gonna die. Like, it's just the way of the world. Get this tower. They're all gonna die, but that's okay. You have to have two barracks full of men and I just don't have the resources for it. If I can get the towers though, that's a huge, that's a huge step. Yeah, they're all just gonna have to die. And then we got a new group of, of uh, happy-go-lucky people who can run in and finish off the job. This is the price. This is the price for fruit. I hope you're happy, people. This is the price we pay for fruit. They did it with their hands. Uh, we got eight swords and four crossbows. Not really. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We lost ten people. That was basically the one immigration group, too. So we got most of the resources back uh, that, that we lost. Overall, not a very good battle, but uh, a battle nonetheless. <laughs> But some people are like, I can't believe you did that. And other people are like, yeah, that that's about right. Those are the people who know me. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Per tower, you gotta have another barracks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, there was like thirteen. Oof. <laughs> it was like it was like seventeen people. <laughs> it was so many more people than I thought. Sorry, that's not that shouldn't be funny, but it is to me. It's very amusing. The beautiful, beautiful apple orchard. Every now, every time you remember, you you remember what it took, what it took to get these apples. Every apple they eat, forever tainted. <laughs> forever tainted. That's cool. We got that one. I'm happy about that. Um, it was a little, it was just a little too close. And we're, we're in good shape now. And we have these, this beautiful apple orchard. And we should be able to get the tier three very soon. Yeah. Or we could, we could do meat. We could do lots of other things, but we just, uh, they really nerfed hunting. And we actually don't just have too much hunting going on around here. Ooh, look at that. Back and pretty. Oh man, the deer spawn is like super moving. I don't even know where the deers are anymore. It looks like the it looks like the boars are also kind of hurting me. So I think what we need to do is put uh, put a tower out here. We'll make a double thick tower in case it ever gets attacked by raiders and we'll just put it out here as a standalone tower and let's try to get uh yeah we hunted all the deer pretty much to extinction but let's try to let's try to hunt boars we'll get a lot of meat we just need a better setup oof we lost too many people All 
All right, well, we're back on track. We'll get another immigration wave soon, and everyone will forget what I did over there. I'll just hide them. Hide them in the bushes. See, people don't see... See, they got all these trees blocking the graveyard. So people, they walk in, they come in through here, they look over, they see nice, beautiful trees. They see these nice, beautiful apples. Like, what a great place. They don't know... They don't know what's happened here. <laughs> they don't know what what's transpired. Behind the bushes. All right. All right, cool. Nice. 11 stone away. We need a little bit more stone. We got ourselves a temple. I got caught up in that, that brutal battle we just had. Nice. We got. Oh, we can't take that stone. Might be able to get that stone. Definitely get this stone. All that stone. We're going to need quite a bit of stone. All right, cool. I think we're in good shape. Let's take two hunters out and let's go kill all the boars that we can. Yeah, when you have multiple people, it's a lot easier. Once we get that tower up, we'll be able to boar hunt in style. Ooh, that's only... Oh, that's a two tower as well. Yeah, we'll do two barracks next time we do that. You have two barracks, you don't lose anybody. And the reason is, is because you can have each barracks attacking one of the towers. You might lose one or two people. They get some good hits off, yeah. But. Thankfully, entertainment sucks. Um, hmm. I wonder. Is that because... Okay, here it hits everybody but these guys. Yeah, I think I need to put one of these dudes over here to get the entertainment up a little bit more. No, it's just a fire. Nobody rush over to put that out. Well, there. Ooh, the fire spread. They got one thing out, and then the fire spread. Um... Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of good vet. There's terrible water there, but good water down here. Um, I was gonna put a vault there. I do need a. I need a well for sure here. Might actually lose some things. Good people just keep. Freaking broken. Alright. A lot of the boars have wandered off, so that's the problem. You gotta find them and kill them so that they come back to the spawn. That's the one that I killed earlier. But I want to get the ones that are moving away. So they're all around here. Alright, that's a lot of meat, too. Good. I'm trying to get the meat so that we have more uh, variety of food so I can get these houses to upgrade. We got tons of food. The chickens will be great for that protein. <laughs> Every time I look over there, it just kind of cracks me up. We have all that loot on the ground, too, that we need to co come collect. Um, yeah, I think I feel like I need to have an emergency session of Parliament here. Everybody stop what you're doing and go pick up the loot and the dead. Firewood splitter, it keeps firewood splitting. All right, cool, and the farmers can help. We can actually boot this up to 14. We need it. At 29 people, we'll put the farmers back in the beginning. Should do it. Need everyone out there mining stone. Yeah, this, this forward tower will actually be really beneficial because when the raids come from up north, this tower will keep people protect, give people time to run away. Otherwise, the raiders just keep following them and shooting them in the open field. So. Alright, cool. We got a lot of people getting stoned right now. That's the problem. The deer just start 
overpopulating as soon as I think of try to do anything else. So kind of just have to keep them going. Might need just to do iron by iron and do small traps so I can, can at least get small game going on all of them. If I can get any kind of consistency, I can really narrow this down. Nope, oh, there it is. Nice. Finally. Tower helped. You need two you need at least two hunters in the region. Alright, cool. We got the tower up at least. Please have stone. Stone at six, I'm buying all of it. I don't care how much it is. Iron at 8. I'll buy as much as I can of that, too. We'll start upgrading everything. Start selling a ton of boards. Selling soap. I don't want to sell shirts at that price, because I can get more for them. Shirts are, like, one of the most commonly purchased things, so I'm never really tempted too much to sell it, unless I see something I really want and need. Okay. We're going to upgrade... I think we'll upgrade. No, no, that guy's got deer there. This dude. With the, the boars and the deer. I think he'd be a good one for potential upgrade. If you have too many of them upgraded within the same sphere, you get declining uh, yields. So, I don't wanna, you don't want to do that. Alright. We could upgrade wells and stuff, too. Uh, all these wells have lots, plenty of water, though, as you can see. But upgrading wells is beneficial if you want desirability. They do. All these guys are above 30, though, so... Um, but this guy, who doesn't like the poop. Yeah, the poop's too close to him. He's very upset about that. All right, well, we got our stone, so we're going back to the status quo now. And yeah, 15 a shirt, but less. Herbs I always sell, because I just get to a point where I accumulate so many of them. They don't really cost much to make. Ooh, eight a pelt. Let's buy a bunch of pelts. All of them, in fact. It's 500 for a bunch of pelts. Ooh, here's, the, here's a good temple one. Hunter cabins yield 30% uh, more. We don't have a whole lot of hunter cabins, though, so that doesn't appeal to me as much as it used to. Alright, cool. We got a good chunk of change. We're actually negative money right now because of the temple. I need to find some relics, but that should help with the spirituality. Luxury, entertainment. Okay, so we, we went from like 30 to 47. Uh, so we need a theater or we need... Uh, bars, uh, taverns. But we can't do that till tier 3. I might try pubs out again. I really hate pubs though, but I might try them out again. Catch. Or we haven't needed a rat catcher, which is kind of cool. Alright. We're growing. We're getting houses to upgrade. Yeah, it costs a lot of money to upgrade these wells and a lot of stone. 177 last year, not very good. A lot of bodies out here. They're just letting them rot. Well, at least we got the, the equipment. So many dead soldiers. Alright. Well, thank you all so much for watching. This has been an awesome, awesome Let's Play. We're going to keep it going. I'm going to get the whole thing built. And we're going to see what it looks like. I'm hoping 9.2 comes out by the time all this is finished. But thank you guys for watching.